Serpent is the accuser. <laughs> We've made God the accuser. Right. We even teach that the Holy Spirit will it's come and accuse us. That's right. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Wow. Yeah, when, and we never could, go ahead. I was just going to say when uh, when John wrote when he that is the Spirit of truth comes, he'll convict the world of sin and righteousness and judgment. Sin because they believe not in me. Yeah. Uh, righteousness because I go to the Father and they'll see me no more. And judgment because the prince of this world has been judged. He is the Spirit is that revealing that. Everything that we desire and hope for in life, that we possess righteousness, that we uh, attain eternal life in the kingdom has been given to us. That's what he's, he's here to, to reveal to us. Amen. That, mm -hmm. that the prince of this world has been judged and it's over. Yep. That's it. And that's beautiful. And when we define the ministry of the Holy Spirit, we see Jesus as a human. Yeah. And so whatever way we want to define the ministry of the Holy Spirit towards us, we must first see it in Jesus and then say that's the way it is with us. Mm -hmm. You think the Holy Spirit accused Jesus? No. 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 But did the Holy Spirit come to Jesus and convince him that it was a lie that he was separated from God? Yes. Yes, yes. he did. Did he come and convince Jesus that it was a lie that he needed to prove that he was the son? Did he come and convince Jesus that it was a lie that he wasn't the son? Did he come and convince Jesus that it was a lie? That he was smitten and stricken by God. Absolutely he did. He convinced him again of unbelief. He convicted his heart of what unbelief was. Right? It's a positive ministry of the Holy Spirit. That's why he's called the comforter. I love that. Whatever his ministry is to you, it will bring comfort, comfort. to your heart. Psalm 23, when Jesus is describing what's going on on the cross. What, he, what does he say? Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, O God. Yeah. Thy truth yeah. comforts me, yeah. is what he's saying. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Why do so many people think that that verse says the Holy Spirit convicts them? Conviction is a good thing. Though. Because we, and again, it speaks to what we started this off with. If you think you have a sin nature, right. and you think that God is judging you based on uh, what he sees manifesting in your flesh, then that's really the only conclusion you could come to. Yeah. Right. And then you won't really see what the verses say. Means, why would God come and tell somebody that they're in unbelief? And unbelief is not an absence of belief. It's a very real belief. It's yes. a belief in the wisdom of the servant. Right. Why would he come and convince somebody that what they're believing hasn't come from him? Because he loves them and he yeah. wants them not to perish and have life. Yeah. It's not a negative thing. Yeah. It's not God coming and finding fault with people. Go read Song of Songs. <laughs> Psalm 4, I find no fault in you. Thou art all fair to me, my love. Yeah. Listen, he's saying that to a person who finds sin manifesting in their life. Right. She even talks about how her skin has been decayed by the sun. How could you think I'm beautiful? My skin has been decayed by the sun. Look at me. That's what a person says who thinks they're in sin. Yeah. Y'all are all fair to me, my love. Yeah. See, that's what the Holy Spirit would convict you of. Yeah. Right. right? So if you're struggling with some sin in your life, you can see that's not the life of God. The serpent would come and accuse you and say, look at you. Look at what's manifesting in your life. Are you really the daughter or son of God? Have you really believed? That's what the serpent would be doing. The Holy Spirit would then come and convince you again of righteousness. Thou art all fair, my love. I see no spot or blemish in you. That's what the Holy Spirit would come and say. When your conscience is busy condemning you because of the serpent accusing you. Yeah. We confuse the conscience with the Holy Spirit. Yes. If our conscience is filled with a, a system of good and evil, our conscience will condemn us. And then we'll say, that's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Well, that's the, way, the, the word can convict, when you look at it, it means to confute. It can mean to confute, mm -hmm. which means to say, this isn't what it is, this is what it is. Yeah. So what he's saying, I will convict the world of sin, he, and because they believe not in me. He is saying, I'm confuting what you regard as sin for what I see as sin, right. and it's unbelief. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, that's good. At the airport, 